Hey, Saginaw Valley, it's great to be back with you. And uh, I just wanted to take a moment and um, tell you a verse of scripture that I read this week that I just just pulled out and I just want to say, uh, well, first let me say this, when I, was, when I was a boy, I was the youngest of, of five in the family. And so being youngest of five in the family, you have um, all your siblings are out giving you trouble sometimes. They used to tell me that I was uh, found on the front porch in a paper sack bag. They used to tell me that the police department came up, knocked on the door, Detroit police officer said, hey, we got this ugly little kid, can you? And I, and I started believing those stories until I started realizing how much I look like my brothers. Um, another thing they used to tell, tell me that when I grow up, I was gonna be a honey dipper. Now, I checked around the church and to most of the generation that's here, they have no idea what a honey dipper is. But on my grandfather's, my, my mom's grandparents or my grandparents on my mom's side, they had a farm and um, they had an outhouse in the back. And the outhouse every once in a while had to be cleaned out. So the one that would come out and clean it was called a honey dipper. They instilled into me that that was my goal in life, to be a honey dipper. And uh, thank God I, their prophecy hasn't come true as of yet, although there's some days I wonder if maybe I really am a honey dipper. I'm just kidding. All I know is God's been good to me. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, down towards the end of it, he, he speaks of a servant, a good servant and, a, and an evil servant. And to the good servant, he says that when his Lord comes, he finds him doing. So often when you meet somebody, it's not long until you ask the question, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a truck driver. I work for GM. I'm a lawyer. I'm a doctor. I'm a nurse. There's so many things that they can relate to about what they really do for a living. So many times what you do for a living can sort of tag you for what you really are. And so I just want to let you know that I don't care if you're a honey dipper or if you work for some great organization, that you're the vice president, president, it doesn't matter. The real question is the doer of the servant is what are you doing for Christ? Just what have you done this week for the Lord Jesus Christ? If he would come back today, what could be said of you and me that I was about my father's business. Yet she, Jesus was asked the same question, or he asked it of himself. And, and they, 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 when they, they found him in the temple, they said, what are you doing? And, and he said, I'm, I'm just about my father's business. As a 12-year-old, he knew the importance of doing, and he did it. Saginaw Valley, my question to us today, what are we doing for the kingdom? I'm not talking about what you do for a living. I'm talking about the kingdom. Who are you witnessing to? What's your prayer life like? What's your chair time like? What's the word in your life like? What are you doing to reach people, to mentor people for the kingdom of God? Don't let it be ever said that you weren't doing nothing when the Lord comes, but let it be said that we all have the mentality of Christ that we are about our Father's business. I pray you have a great week this week. May God richly bless you. You're in our prayers. God bless.